Shout one. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great so Christmas word chiefly and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, at the four corners of the globe. Christmas word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird. Christmas word truthfully and sincerely. And I say shalom to your Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson for in the news on October the 13th, 2022. On this uh, Thursday afternoon at 1.24 p.m. Central Standard Time. And this is a news article from uh, the Associated Press. And this was published about 43 minutes ago. And the highlight of this news article when it read for in the news for today on October 13, 2022. And it reads from the Associated Press News. North Korea fires another missile. Fires flies warplanes near the border. And this is a uh, Seoul, South Korea of Associated Press. North Korea on Friday launched a ballistic missile towards its eastern waters, flying warplanes near the border with South Korea. The South military said further raising anomalies triggered by the North recent barrage of weapon tests. South Korea Joint Chief of Staff said the launch happened early Friday, but gave no further details including how far the weapon flew. The Japanese Defense Ministers and Prime Minister Office also tweeted that North Korea launched a possible missile. It's the latest in spite of missile launches by North Korea in recent weeks. North Korea said that Thursday that leader Kim Jong-un supervised the test launch of long-range cruise missiles that he said successfully demonstrated his military's expanding nuclear strike capabilities. And North Korea said early this week it missile test its past two weeks was simulated nuclear tests on a key South Korean and U.S. targets. North Korea said uh, the weapons tests were meant as a warning to Seoul and Washington for staging dangerous joint Navy, I mean, novel uh, exercises involving the U.S. aircraft. Uh, I think it's more to it. And it says North Korea launches part of its record-breaking runs of weapon tests this year was seen as an attempt by Kim to acquire a more immediate arsenal to pressure its rivals to accept its country as a legitimate nuclear state and lift economic sanctions, which I highly doubt they're going to do that because they're going to push more economic sanctions on North Korea. And it says uh, South Korea Joint Chief of Staff also said in a statement that North Korea has flown warplanes near the rival's border late Thursday and early Friday, prompting South Korea to scramble fire jets. North Korea planes flew as close as 12 kilometers and 7 miles north of the inner Korean border. The South Korean Joint Chief of Staff said it responded by scrambling the F-35 jets and other warplanes. Right, and this happened like uh, a week ago. Same simulation, same similar uh, situation. I meant to say, and it said there were no report of clashes. So yeah, that's the rest of that reading right there. So yeah, once again. Rumors of wars definitely increasing. And these tensions between North Korea and South Korea is definitely heating up once again, once more. And bring out the actual scripture I normally bring out of these sit down lessons that I do through the Spirit, Power, Grace, and Mercy of Yahweh Yahushua. And this is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 8. 
for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. And there shall be seen famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows, right? Because you're going to see the increasing beginning stages of uh, sorrows slowly but surely increasing. Especially with the uh, nations are definitely heating up against one another. Uh, wars and women's wars once again, as I mentioned before, heating up against between the nations of different kingdoms. These rumors of wars are heating up and it's getting closer to that Revelations 11 and 14. We're seeing uh, increasing signs of it. Uh, Revelations 11 and 14, second world was passed, behold, third world come quick. So we're seeing it increase uh, now more than ever. And I'm going to bring out Matthew 24 and 6 to close out the lesson. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, right? The reason why the end is not yet, because we're going to see more of these things increasingly. We're going to see more uh, similar stories of nations rising up against different nations and different kingdoms as well, too. And these uh, nations starting to rise up as being a nuclear threat, a nuclear arsenal towards their rivals of, you know, with the nations going at it with each other, with the hostility increasing between the nations. You know, we're gonna see it. It's gonna start seeing it more increasingly more often now, you know. So with that, I hope this is a quick sit down lesson for any news was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahushai. And first and foremost, I like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Preach the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim scattered through the four corners of the globe. Preach the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom in the barber ball.